I had been an elementary teacher for years prior, and I just missed being around kids. Uh, so the idea just popped in my head one day. I bet they need volunteers at the children's hospital. So I became a volunteer here. It became really clear that there was a big need for them to have an exposure to meaningful mathematics. And I'm researching how children with cancer and other chronic illnesses like sickle cell disease and so on, um, how they learn mathematics through robotics and how that affects um, not only their conceptual understanding of the mathematics, but physiological well-being. Does it reduce stressors in during their chemotherapy and other procedures? You know, when they're when you're sick and you and they're in their uh, hospital bed, they still have to keep up with their schoolwork. Uh, Michaela was first diagnosed with acute lymphoblastic leukemia in July of 2009. Well, right now she comes once a week for maintenance chemo, which is good because it's a lesser, lighter version. Michaela first met Megan on her second diagnosis when we were <clears throat> upstairs for a long-term chemo. She was held back a year, not because she didn't know the work or didn't do the work, but because she wasn't in school the required number of days to pass. So now she's behind. Oh, uh, well, when I first met Megan, she came in one morning and she asked my mom if I would like to start working with robots. I'd be the first patient from the children's hospital who would have done it. And I was, I really didn't like math at the time, so I was like, ah, uh, I don't really know. I don't think I'll, that would be something that I'll like. Michaela hated math. <laughs> and, you know, it just, I don't know, made it fun, made it easier to get stuff done. I told her what we did, and Michaela's always willing to try anything, so she was like, yeah, I'll give it a try, and then uh, we just took off from there. The first time we did it, I had a blast, and it's very fun being able to work with her, coming to clinic, knowing that you're going to get chemo, but having something fun to look forward to, something to be able to do to maybe get your mind off of it. I've seen so much mathematical growth in her and uh, growth in her confidence. Working with Math with the Robots, you get to be more hands-on and actually understand and kind of get a feel for what you're doing instead of just seeing some numbers written on a piece of paper. You get to basically create the numbers and tell your robot maybe how many inches or whatever you want it to move. Having Megan here is, is really important to the kids at St. Jude because what she's doing is helping with that education component that we have lacked at, at times. So Megan coming in and actually showing kids math in a different way, showing them that math is not frightening, and sitting at the table and interacting with them one-on-one, -on -one, all kids love that. Megan is, a, she's very fun person. She's always happy. The first day I met her, she had the biggest smile on her face, always laughing and just bringing the best of mood to everyone in, around the room. And Megan is a wonderful person, wonderful human being. I'm glad we got to meet her. I'm really thankful for the opportunity. Um, when we have to stop doing this, I think we're both gonna miss it. And I'm really trying not to cry here because Megan's totally awesome. <laughs> State your passion. State your passion at Illinois State University.